Right then, well, as we're saying, on the eve of the NATO summit, France has stalled one of uh, Europe's largest military deals with Russia. That news came out an hour or two ago over the ongoing situation in Ukraine. Harry Fear, is it uh, said, summit on the eve of it in Wales, down there at Cardiff Bay. Hi, Harry. Tell us more about this. Um, there's been uh, some toing and froing over this from France and NATO uh, throughout the last couple of hours. Bring us up to speed. Well, first we had this statement from France, basically out of the blue on the eve of the NATO summit, which is, of course, due to start tomorrow morning and end on Friday. The statement basically said that they're not going to uh, deliver these warships to Russia. It was a business deal struck bilaterally back in 2011. But France said that the conditions weren't right uh, in order to honor uh, continuing this business deal. Uh, we then received uh, this official NATO word uh, saying that they were not responsible for pressuring France in any way. And they distanced themselves from the French position, uh, even, of course, though, in the context that over the last several months, uh, NATO and the EU, of course, with their sanctions program, have taken a very strong line against Russia. Uh, then France hit back with a clarification, basically confirming that this was a political move in order to send a strong message to Russia, uh, basically saying that as long as the situation in Ukraine doesn't improve, uh, that they will continue to say, uh, take such a stand against Russia. Mm. Sounds like the group phone call didn't go too well earlier on then. OK, Harry, thanks for that. No, it's going to be a busy uh, forthcoming couple of days for you covering uh, the uh, NATO meeting there in, uh, in Cardiff and Newport. Thanks for the update for now.